Hey guys, today I am in Minami Sanniku, Miyagi Prefecture. This is an area that was almost completely destroyed by the 2011 earthquake and tsunami. So today I'm going to be joining an Eat Meat Japan experience that aims to revitalize this region. I'm really excited. I have a special guest joining me today. Welcome, Cheesy! Nice to be back and we made it to Miyagi Prefecture today in a small town called Minami Sanniku. And today we're gonna go on a tour to discover the local food. Yes! As well as wine. Yes, local Minami Sanniku wine. So oh. let's go discover Minami Sanniku. Let's go! <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, wow. It's so, so new. So new. Oh, you can see it. Sasaki to Mochimasu. Yoko Zerashemaste. I got to the Masu. Purkara no Kuruzu Seni Motita Dite, Venari no Kojo Motita Kimaso de. They are not seen the Kiba to me. Oh, she's so excited. Tanoshimidis. The Sasuke Kimaso. Hi. Yay. じゃあですね、この船にあの、ここの中にですね、トイレがあります。トイレ。もし万が一の場合はこのトイレ使えるようになっておりますんで。There's <笑> a whole bathroom in here. All right, so we're now on the boat and we're going to go see where they actually are raising oysters and scallops. Konnichiwa. So, he's actually just pulling up a bunch of oysters right now, and they're kind of all hanging on these ropes that were submerged into the sea. And then he pulls them up like this over here. Wow! And then he removes it from the rope using this machine. There it goes. <音楽><音楽> ここたちのこの柿の特徴だと環境に優しいっていうのがまあもちろんあのアピールポイントでもありますしそれからこう一年で育てることによってこの柿が美味しくなったんですよあの身が取りたく大きいんですよ今あのここのえっと漁場は全
ですから今回の東日本大震災の津波をきっかけに町の中心部だったところにもう人は住まないというふうに決めた町なのであの以前のような形でたくさんにぎわっているような状況ではまだない状況ですでもそんな中でワイナリーはやっぱりこう夜お酒を飲み交わしながらいろんなことを話すようなそういった空間を作りたいと思ってますので本当にこのきっかけでたくさんの人がまた戻ってきて一緒にワイン飲みながらとかしてもらいたいですね。はいはい、本当に直とワイン楽しんでねはい、何回でも足を運んでいただきたいなというふうに思っています。うんうん、これなんだかわかりますかね。あ,あのホタテとか牡蠣の養殖で使っているネットです。この養殖用のネットにワインボトルをくくりつけて。先ほど見ていただいた牡蠣棚に吊るしてます。海の中で熟成をさせています。で、なんでやってるかというと、一つは海の中って温度変化が少ないんですよね。なるほど。はい、冷蔵庫じゃなくて。冷蔵庫代わりになるというところですね。でさらにもう一つやってる理由は熟成が早まります海の中の音の振動の影響が大きいんではないかというふうに言われてます音音し音 the, It looks really cool It's got like little barnacle type things on it So it feels kind of like something you would get from like a Pirates of the Caribbean type, you know? <laughs> You can see all of the bottles oh, in here with so the clear、different. bottles. So you can see the color of the wine so clearly. Kōshū という品種のブドウを使ったワインになってまして、非常に透明度が高いワインになってます。南三陸ワイナリーのワインのラベルにはですね、キリコという三陸沿岸部で江戸時代から伝わる伝統的なこのキリコの模様を使っています。海の見えるワイナリーの象徴的な最初に登っていただいたテラスト、テラス塔があって、ルーバーがあって、上に登ると。があってテーブルにも見えるようなグラスにも見えるような登ると漁港が見えて海が見えて船も見えて今日見ていただいた荒島というのも遠くに見えてというような海の見えるワイナリーの象徴的なテラス塔を切り子として表現しています。That's beautiful。So 今日見た景色が全部ここに凝縮されているような感じですね。ありがとうございました。すごく面白かったです。So next we actually get a chance to shuck。Our own oysters. Let's go give it a try and learn how to shuck them. You gotta them. try it too. Oh, we'll see. Wait, this is really difficult.、Oh, I'm breaking the shell all over. I know, me too. I'm just getting like bits of shell on the, on the table. What? Oh, okay, okay, I got it. Wow. Okay, I think I just ruined it. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. you know what? It does、It's、not. not bad. It doesn't look as good as what he did. Because, look, <laughs> yours is definitely better. I kind of I destroyed mine. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not a big fan of raw oysters, but、uh, I'm going to give it a try. Okay, here we go. Yep. Okay, you go, Kimas. That's salty.、Mm. Oh, but it's good it actually. It's so fresh. It's very fresh.、Mm. Also, I think mine had little pieces of shell in it, so it's very、too. crunchy. Honto wa kore o mizu arai s u r t y o r i o i s h i k t a b e r e n d e s k e d o s e k a e あの剥いたやつなんで、このそのまま食べてみるっていうのもね、またその楽しみの一つなのかなと思います。That was really cool experience, and now we actually get to try some <gasps> more food. Some more food <laughs> using these oysters. So let's try some wonderful seafood cuisine. お待たせしましたワインをお持ちいたしました。ありがとうございます。今日白ワインはこちらのシャルドネをご用意いたしました。さっき剥いていただいていた新鮮な牡蠣にもよく合いますし、うん、とグラタンのホワイトソースとも相性がいいので、はい、ぜひ一緒に飲んでみてください。ありがとうございます。今日お肉の方に、はい。ソースかかってると思うんですけれども、うん、こちらの南三陸で育てたリリコというトマトのソースを使っていてこちらの赤ワインはトマトとの相性が非常にいいのでぜひ一緒に召し上がってみてください。It's time to eat. Let's cheers with our local 南三陸ワイン。乾杯。Woo! It's richer than I thought. Not as sweet. But it is something that I really like. Yeah, it's very easy to drink. It's very tart, but also goes down smooth. And it's a little bit sour, so it tastes refreshing, kind、mm. of summery. That is so good. Okay, now let's try it with the dishes. I think we should start with the oyster, because <laughs> the star of the show today is the oyster. Okay, let's try the oyster. 
with the yogurt sauce. Mmm! That's really good. I think this is the oyster that's been sitting for a yeah. whole day, getting cleaned, because the taste is a lot fresher mm, and not as less salty. Slimy. Mm -hmm, exactly. <laughs> Isn't it interesting that it tastes different now? I don't know what it is, but the flavor does change based on the yeah. food that you eat it with. And that's, I think, part of the fun. Let's take a bite of the gratin with the cod, the winter cod inside. Woo! Mm. That is really good. It's got a nice crisp layer of cheese on top. The inside is so creamy. For someone who loves cheese, this is on point. I love it. It's very soft and just very flavorful. So basically, cheesy actually does like cheesiness. I do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> In case you were all wondering. <laughs> okay, so now let's try the wakame hitsuji, which mm -hmm. is their local sheep that eats fat grapes and grapes seaweed. and seaweed. Mm -hmm. I can taste a little bit of the, I would say, gaminess that comes with mutton sometimes. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of an aftertaste, but it is very easy to eat. And it does go really well with this wonderful local tomato. It's almost like Soft a gazpacho taste. sauce mm -hmm. on top. Let's taste it with the red wine. It tastes very fresh. Oh You're right. Mm. It feels it feels like a it newer is. wine. And the acidic side of it actually matches really well with the tomatoes that were on top of the meat. And she mentioned that was a good pairing. It really fits perfectly. Great balance. <laughs> Look at this! So this is like a giant <laughs> shiitake burger sandwich. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's a shiitake burger. It's got meat Hot on the burger. inside, local Iberico pork. Okay, let's give Hi. it a try. It seems to be kind of a pork meatball on the inside. The mushroom is also really nice and chewy, and it's, as you may know, shiitake mushrooms are full of umami. This reminds me of Chinese cuisine. It's kind of like an interesting, interesting contrast compared to the Western style. So this is very Japanese, um, like oriental taste. Mm. It's good. So that wraps up our tour experience for today in Minami Sandiku. The food is amazing. We're still working on it, but yes. this was <laughs> such a fun day. What did you think? I know. I love how the tour focuses on the local people and really help to revitalize the, the area. So this is a really good opportunity for you guys to show some support for the Tohoku region. I feel really hopeful and happy that they've managed to rebuild so much, but now all they really need to do is bring the people back. So if you guys are interested in learning about oysters and amazing local wines and in eating it, of course, then I really recommend this silver award-winning Eat Meat Japan tour. And if you're interested, you can actually join by clicking the links down below. So please check that out. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give us a like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys very soon in another video. Thank you. Bye. Bye.